We're addicted uh, to, uh, to primacy uh, and running the world. And, uh, you know, Donald Trump uh, was, from the, the very beginning, from the uh, first foreign policy address he gave at the Center for the National Interest in the summer of 2016, uh, of two minds uh, on uh, his vision for uh, American grand strategy. You may recall the first half of that speech was basically the sort of neoconservative boilerplate about the essential role that American deep engagement um, and uh, assertive leadership would play in fixing all the world's problems. The second half of the speech, which sounded like it had been written by a completely different author, uh, raised some problems uh, with the, uh, you know, the, the approach to the world that the United States uh, had taken since the end of the Cold War um, and proposed a, a different uh, set of policies, a more restrained approach to uh, America's role in the world. And I hate to say it, but this sort of schizophrenia that you saw uh, in the Trump administration before he even won the election continues today. Uh, so uh, I think we're still addicted to empire. Um, and uh, despite uh, some encouraging words uh, at uh, previous periods from the president. General Allen, after your long career in military service and especially uh, overseeing uh, many of our troops in some of the world's hotspots, did you see yourself as a, a, an imperial uh, leader of a force that was addicted to primacy, sir? No, not at all. And of course, let me just uh, preface my remarks by saying it's, it's wonderful to be here. I want to thank the sponsors, but I also want to remember the good people of Las Vegas uh, for the tragedy that they've gone through. They remain in my prayers, and you will always will. Um, uh, you know, I served overseas for most of my career, uh, a good bit of it in combat. And I can tell you the many times where, as I became more senior, uh, when I uh, would meet with the leadership of the various countries, uh, whether they were in East Asia or in Southeast Asia or in the Middle East or in Europe. Uh, while there could be a, a sense by some that we are addicted to power, there was a very clear need in the minds of so many of these leaders that the American presence in the world was a stabilizing presence. In many respects, it was a beneficent presence. Uh, it was a presence that uh, facilitated uh, a world order that uh, gave the capacity for uh, global economic intercourse, but largely was a presence that benefited uh, the world order and benefited uh, humankind. Now, we've had some problems, and we've had some uh, spectacular policy failures, but that doesn't lessen the importance of the United States in the world today. And it isn't just about the military presence in the world today, it's the presence of the United States as a transformational force in the world today. And I believe most of our partners, whether they're in uh, allies or just our trading partners, would feel very similarly that there is an important role for the United States in the world today as a transformational power.